T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. Go Starlink to the Falcon Space Force at Nardo Launch. Vehicle is pitching down range. We are T plus 45 oh, seconds novel. into liftoff, and we have just had liftoff of our Falcon 9 vehicle carrying our Starlink payload. In just about 15 seconds from now, we will be passing through max Q. This is the largest aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will see throughout ascent. And we've got an awesome view of liftoff right now. Vehicle is passing through maximum dynamic pressure. And we just heard that call out for passing through max Q. Now coming up in about a minute will be a rapid succession of events. Main engine cutoff, or what we call MECO, followed immediately by stage separation and SES-1, which is second engine start. Now MECO is where we shut down that main engine on the first stage booster to allow the vehicle to slow down just enough to separate from second chill. stage. If you're just now joining us, we have an awesome onboard view of our vehicle Falcon 9. And in about 30 seconds will be those three events, Miko, main engine cutoff, stage separation, and SES-1. And there is Miko, as you saw those engines shut down. Stage separation confirmed. And there is stage separation and second engine start. You can see that second engine on your right screen glowing bright red. Now in about 20 seconds, we will have fairing deploy. And we should be able to see this on our screen as well. And on that left screen there, you can see the grid fins. It's, it's a bit dark on the East Coast right now, so hard to see, but we did see those grid fins deploy. Fairing separation confirmed. And there is fairing deploy. So as Lauren mentioned earlier, we will be attempting to catch one of the fairing halves on our recovery vessel, Miss Tree, but we will not be able to show this live, so check in with our social media for updates. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. That is beautiful. Now there are a series of events coming up with both stage one and stage two before we reach our parking orbit and enter that first coast phase. The first is the stage one entry burn. That is when stage one is re-entering the Earth's upper atmosphere. It will reignite three of its Merlin 1D engines in order to slow the vehicle down as it re-enters so that it doesn't break apart because we want to land it. That burn's gonna last for just under 20 seconds or so. And at that point, the burn will end. You'll hear the call out entry burn shut down. 
A couple minutes after that, we will see our stage one landing burn. That is where we will reignite one engine, E9, it's that one right in the middle. And it's going to burn for just over 20 seconds and hopefully leave stage one standing up nice and tall on that drone ship. But at the very second same time- Second stage on nominal trajectory. As you just heard, second stage is on a nominal trajectory. That's really good news. And speaking of second stage, right as the drone ship lands, you should hear the call out for Seco 1. That's where we shut down the second stage engine to enter that coast phase. So far, stage two's trajectory continues to be nominal. Stage one has also drifted up to its highest altitude and is now beginning its descent. That's that image over to the left. It's dark outside. Oh, dark in space. <laughs> Right, in about 10 seconds, you should see that, that entry burn start Stage on your left one side. Stage is saved. Stage one, entry burn startup. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. And we just had a good shutdown of that entry burn. Meanwhile, the second stage continues at full power with over 200,000 pounds of thrust. Stage two following nominal trajectory. All right, looks like we lost signal, but that's fine. We should be acquiring it again soon. Now stage two continues to burn, taking those Starlink satellites to their first parking orbit. Stage one is coasting down, steering its way using those grid fins down to the drone ship. At about T plus eight minutes and three seconds, right around there, you're gonna see that landing burn start. Stage one, entry transonic. Oh, and as you just heard, we've just gone transonic on stage one as it's making its way back down to the drone ship. So the atmosphere is actually what's slowing the vehicle down, stage one, as it re it's now re-entering the Earth's atmosphere and coming down to the thicker parts. That's what slows the vehicle down. Stage one, landing burn, start up. All right. You can see that light on the left. Stage, stage one two is under way. terminal guidance. Stage one, landing like right. deploy. And yes, <laughs> we have another landing. This is the fourth landing of this vehicle and the 48th Falcon 9 first stage landing to date. It was awesome. <laughs> we got video the whole time, that was cool. All right, stage two stage is still two doing FTS work. Stage two is saved. Seco 